Here we are, state of Idaho, and I get to do something I used to do a lot when I lived back in Wisconsin. That is squirrel hunt. Squirrels are regarded as unprotected invasive species in Idaho, so there are really no laws to govern how many you could take and that kind of thing. So I decided I would get an air rifle. I have a 25 caliber spring action air rifle that I would use to go squirrel hunting. And I went to the Fort Boise WMA and you'll be able to see pretty soon if you hear that you can hear a squirrel barking in the background. It didn't take long before I encountered a squirrel. You see the problem though? <clears throat> Just look full of leaves. I stared and stared and stared at that bunch of leaves and it took a really long time for me to actually see a squirrel at all. Just can't quite make out where the squirrel is yet and I'm looking around and I start <clears throat> periodically I can hear them barking at me. I know they're there. In fact, uh, I'll show you where I think they are. You'll hear the squirrels bark, and you'll see the arrow. I think that's... Okay. So that's when I see it right up in that little limb where I pointed out. Problem is, there's so many leaves, I can't, I can't get a clean shot. And it seems a little far for my air rifle. It's hard to tell. Pretty far shot. The GoPro image is not... It's a wide-angle lens, so everything seems pretty far away, a lot further than it actually looks. Still not sure where he is. I keep catching little glimpses of him here and there. And then you'll see I'll put my scope up a number of times, trying to see, is that the squirrel? It's amazing how good they mm -hmm. can hide. You can be looking straight at them and not even know they're there. I think that's what I've always enjoyed about squirrel hunting. It's a pretty simple idea. You get a squirrel up in a tree, and then you spend a long time trying to find it. Some people I notice are better than others at seeing squirrels. You usually don't see the whole squirrel. You know when it's leafy like this, you usually only see them when they move. So there I see the whole squirrel. But it gets to be to a point where I sometimes um, I'll see the squirrel. You can see again, I'm not sure. can't remember if I just just can't quite get a bead on it just can't get a beat on it. I know, I think I see them and they're not there. But when the leaves are off, then the strategy isn't to look for a whole s squirrel, just to look for part of the squirrel. Usually see just a little part of them. And I really don't get anything here. So I come back another day and uh, this is just kind of me walking to the spot. <clears throat> it's right along the Snake River. Um, really nice place near Parma, Idaho. And there's this little tiny packets of trees and hardwoods. And uh, I didn't, and mostly maple, the hardwood part anyway. And I didn't notice any nut trees or anything like that. Lots of poplar. Um, and you can see I'm just looking around. It's a really pretty place. People do a lot of pheasant hunting here, and a lot of people say, why are you hunting squirrels when you could be hunting pheasants? Well, I grew up hunting squirrels. That's what I've always enjoyed, squirrel hunting. Love it. Um, and I eat the squirrels that I shoot. Um, I'm not going to say they're my favorite to eat, but uh, they're not bad either terms of game animals. So I see a squirrel and it's coming down the tree. 
So it didn't take long this time to actually see a squirrel. Uh, it wasn't long before I, I was kind of getting nervous, you know, because it's been so long since I've hunted squirrels. Probably 20 years, literally. Here I am with a single shot air rifle. But I see a squirrel and I do get a chance to shoot at it. So I definitely see the squirrel. And line up. And I shoot. And I miss. That was unfortunate. But I was excited. I at least got a shot. I got to shoot my new rifle. And as you can see, I missed. You really can't get too upset when you miss shots. Well, turns out, one reason why is you get a second shot sometimes, and so here I get another one. Maybe I didn't hit the rifle. Right on a branch. I shot right below him. And I missed. And I shot low on that one, I think. Um, I could hear it, um, the pellet, if you listen carefully, I could actually hear it hit. Um, now I'm at my other spot, and this is 30 plus minutes later. Squirrel snuck up on me. And I've been watching it for a while. And I miss again. I was starting to wonder if somehow I was shooting blanks in this gun. Very frustrating. But I still got a chance. I had three shots, three misses. And so I had to go home without anything, but I came back two weeks later, and this time I brought my friend Eric Brown. And I'll let you watch what happens. Just saw a squirrel. Or it was a bird, I can't tell. It, something dove. You can see the branches moving. Something dove from the branches up to the main limb there. Maybe we should. He's coming down. Oh, he's coming across. He's coming across. Yeah, I see it. Looks like I might get. Oh, he's. He's running on it. There's two of them. Three. Let's try. I'm going to just kind of walk this way and see if I can get an angle on one and just let me know if you see something.
It amazes me how I can be looking up in the trees and see absolutely nothing. And stare and stare. I know they're there. There's I couldn't see any holes or anything in these trees where the squirrels could have taken cover or gotten, you know, dove in. These trees had no sign of nests or anything. It's just like they they're ghosts of the of the canopy. Just hide. And they're so good at it. And with the leaves, it's really hard. One of my friends, he, he won't even hunt if there's leaves on the trees. Believe it or not, there's a lot of squirrel hunters in this world. Not so many in, in Idaho that I know of, but there are some. Usually they come from the Midwest like I do, where squirrel hunting is a thing. I just don't know where they are. So I try my squirrel call. It's a funny sounding thing. It's actually pretty good. I've had lots of luck with squirrel calls. When I know they're around, there's several different calls you can make. Um, the bark call is kind of territorial. Uh, the call that I have is really nice. You can do uh, the bark calls and different variations on it depending on how you cup your hand and hold on. And then uh, it also has a juvenile distress call that's actually can be under the right conditions. Very um, effective. But again, I'm sitting here wondering. Where is it? So the whole time I'm doing this, I'm moving around, and Eric is on the other side of the tree. He's not carrying a gun or anything. He wasn't too sure squirrel hunting was for him, but he wanted to come and help. He has a hunting license and everything, and so we had already hunted that day for birds. Didn't do any good. But as I'm moving around, I notice Eric finally spotted the squirrel. He was amazed at how it could hide in plain sight like that. He had probably looked at that spot where the squirrel was half a dozen times. Never saw it. And then, maybe it just moved a little when I was moving around. And so here I am coming to him. So I can just make out its ear. Eric did his job. He showed me where it was. And so I got the gun up on where I saw its ear. And Eric walked around. And I was waiting for his head to just move a little bit. And he did just enough. And you can barely see it move. It's I know exactly where to look, and I don't even, in uh -huh. fact, it it's so thick. I wish you could have seen it. It's hanging by its oh. feet right now, because it. Uh, I see it. it. And so I think I'm going to have to probably give it another one. But it's hanging by its hind legs, head, face down, and. Uh, I think I'll finish it off though. And then it falls, pretty soon. It's hard. You don't see it fall. It's so thick in there. I really feel bad because I wanted to capture it falling out of the tree. It's there. You can kind of hear it crash. I don't know if you heard that. You could hear it fall. And then Eric went to walk over to get it. And then he thought, uh, I also had to get my Boy. good handsome mug in there. But then he thought better of it because he didn't have gloves and he thought, what if it's still alive? Because he didn't know at the time how I hit it. Can you take your gun? I thought he was shaking my hand. 
but no, he just wanted to take my gun so I could get in there and grab it. I have more experience with squirrels than he does, so I decided. And I could see it. You'll see it's right there. In fact, that just shows you how good they blend in to the ground. Oh, I shot it right in the head. And I could see I had shot it. It was dead. You could feel a little bit, it, was, it still yeah, had a little life in it, dead. but it was just the nerves, because he was, you could, you as, pardon me for yeah. the grossness, right. but you can see it's brained. See where I got him? Yeah, I see where you got him. I brained him. It's a boy, too. Hmm? It's a boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's got nuts. He's just... It's a boy. Huh. Huh. It's a small one. It's a boy. So that that's yeah. uh, I'm going to end uh, this part. I have lots of other footage where I've been more successful. He's still got a little getting the first one though. That was the trick. Once I figured out and got back in the groove again, I was able to be a lot more successful. And so I was very happy. My air rifle. Got it. me a squirrel, Blue and that was the beginning of the several more. Yeah. <laughs> really enjoyed this. Hope you did too. Also, save the tails, by the way. In addition to you, I save the tails for time flies. So, hope you enjoyed that.